What's the nearest habitable planet? It's called Bearheart. How many jumps? Only one. So you just had like 6,000 people balling, apparently, in Hall H with, with this trailer? Balling out? Is, is, oh, oh, balling. No, 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 yeah. like, like crying like babies. I mean, yeah. uh, is this is this a sign of things to come? I mean, should we be should we emotionally prepared now for what this no. movie's going to do to us? I wasn't emotionally prepared when I watched it, and, I, and, it, and it hit me just hard. So don't do any emotional preparation. Just go see it, and, and you're going to see what we were talking about. You'll see why people yeah. were um, moved. It's, uh, yeah, definitely an emotional... It's an emotional moment, certainly for us as the actors who put, who are in the in the in the piece, watching it for the first time, being reminded of like all everything we did over the past you know year plus, put making the movie, and then yeah. being out on at Hall H in front of all these fans for the first time in several years, and understanding that you know this is kind of like the, this is the end of this trilogy. It's yeah. it's all emotional. There were tears in that in that room after what yeah, you guys I just, just showed. read Kevin Smith's tweet saying he bawled. Is this, I mean, he's an easy, he's an easy target. I got to admit, Kev, that Kevin, he cries a lot, but he's, uh, he he's, he's the best. He does, he does. but he yeah. said, he said, that's not tears. He said, ball, he balled. He, balled, yeah. he sobbed like a baby. I haven't seen the movie, but they just showed us the trailer for the first time. Um, they were playing it for everybody in Hall H, and they played it backstage on a screen for us, and we had not seen it before, and we all just started fully crying. Yeah. Like, it's such an emotional, beautiful trailer, and it's such a beautiful story, and it's also kind of the end of an era for us, and so it's like, so emotional. And then they like threw us on stage, and we were like fully crying. <laughs> And then everyone in the room is crying. It was a really emotional experience. Should we prepare ourselves? Is this going to be like a abnormally emotional Marvel movie? Uh, the script is incredible. I'm so I'm so grateful for James for writing this beautiful, beautiful script. Um, you know, I feel I, I feel so so lucky, you know, to get to work with these incredible actors and to care so deeply about them in real life and. Um, uh, and I care so much about the characters as well. Uh, I saw the teaser trailer for the first time today, and I was like, you know, almost like crying backstage and then on stage. And you know, I can I can get get over it, you know. And I, I want to watch it again. Dude, I'm not prepared for it. I got to tell you, I wasn't ready for that. But I think this will be the most you know emotional Guardians yet for sure. Have you felt that on set that this is going to be sort of like an abnormally emotional uh, MCU <laughs> adventure? Yes, I did. I felt it. I kind of felt it from the beginning. You know, we spent a lot of months making this movie and there was always something about it that was like, it felt a little different. The movie's, the, the movie, there's a sadness in the movie and there's a uh, an element to it that is the uh, culmination of this storytelling trilogy uh, that I'm, uh, I, I'm very, very proud of. I think it's truthful, which is the most important thing, mm -hmm. and that audiences hopefully will respond to it. It's about the emotions. It's about the characters uh, and their journeys and how they're uncovering truths about themselves. And it's not what people expect. Nothing is neat, nothing's tied up with a bow, but it is the end of the story for these characters. It definitely feels like the end of this particular era. So whatever happens going forward, I don't know if it would ever be specifically this again. Um, and so there's definitely like a finality to the whole thing, um, which is just like something n none of us are coping with and I'm just going into denial. It was the last day of shooting. It was very emotional. And then up here on stage, it was emotional because I know we're never going to sit, you know, stand up there together as a family in front of Comic-Con, most likely ever. 